All right, guys. It's your boy, Jess Green. I got a brand new podcast coming out for you. First off, like talk about, first off, I hope everyone had a good and great week this week. I know it's Friday. It's the last day of the week. You guys are going to have some fun. And I appreciate you guys listening to my podcast today. And if you listened to it last week, I hope you enjoy what I talked about. All right, back to it. First, I want to talk about, there's this new comic book coming out called uh, Escape from Jesus Island. It's about, uh, it's about these clones that are coming out. All the clones are made of Jesus, but everything goes really, really, really bad. So pretty much think about a Jurassic Park, but what well, clone Jesus is everywhere. Is that the plural for Jesus, Jesus is, or is it Jesus I? But that's what this comic book is about. It's, the art seems really good. I wouldn't mind reading it or picking it up, actually. But the second issue is coming out this week. I say if you like weird and bizarre stories, check it out. Also, leave some comments for me. Let me know what you think about it. Just so I want to pick it up. Just let me know if you read it before I do. Tell me what you think about it. Next, I want to talk about something that's a little bit emotional. If uh, if you got someone that's affected by this. But I heard that a baby got cured by HIV last year in Mississippi. And now they're working on the second child they want to cure of hiv so they got last year in mississippi uh they cure someone a little infant child of hiv and they, they're trying to cure the second child of doing that so i say all like the fundraising and money that going towards hiv and aids right now is really starting to pay off because people are getting cured by now i think that's a great thing to have just keep on keep on driving for greatness and getting everyone healthy and purified out there so all right, let's switch it up to some a little bit more, more uplifting, something a little bit more awesome. They have these new Chips Ahoy cookie ice cream. So they got Chips Ahoy and ice cream together. I know we all had like those cookie sandwiches before, but I don't think they were made like with Chips Ahoy cookies. I think it was just mostly just Nestle putting some cookies together on ice cream. But this here is full on, full on Chips Ahoy ice cream cookies my question to you is which one do you want you want like a crunchy cookie ice cream do you want a soft cookie ice cream because me i love a cookie that just comes out of the oven that's soft that melts in your mouth that just tastes delicious Mm -mm. all right next up if any of you guys read a lot of comic books i'm pretty sure if you listen to this podcast you gotta at least read one or two comic books out there but Comicsology, the biggest comic book digital retailer out there, got hacked. So if you have an account, change those passwords up because you may have gotten hacked because someone hacked all of Comicsology. So yeah, I'm glad I don't use that account. <laughs> I still buy my full-on paper comic books. I still buy those guys instead of using, you know, using the digital stuff. I read some digital comic books here and there, but I got. I got friends who have digital comics or they scan their comics. I just use those, but definitely check out Comicsology uh, to find out more about this story, but definitely do not use their services until they get all this stuff taken care of. All right. If any of you guys out there read Green Lantern and you watched that cartoon show, the CG one, definitely check out the new DVD that's coming out. It comes out March 18th. They got the entire series of the Green Lantern on DVD coming out March 18th. I want to get this DVD because I like the show, especially when Razor, the Red Lantern, showed up. It was freaking amazing when he showed up. So definitely check out this DVD because I'm getting it. March 18th, I'm sending a line. I'm getting my copy. If they just put Young Justice in one big DVD set, I'll buy that bad boy also. I don't like having my season split out in one. It's like one season, you get five episodes. And you got to buy all different volumes of that one season. You're not taking all my money just so I can keep buying all these DVDs. Just give them to me in one box and I'm good to go. <clears throat> um, Thor. I don't know if you guys have seen the new Thor the, or the Dark World movie. Apparently, it beat out Gravity in DVD sales. So, Gravity won like what, seven, three, two awards? Think about two awards they won. They won like two awards, and I think one of them was for Best Picture. Or was it 12 Years of Slave that won Best Picture? I forget which one won Best Picture, but I know that for cinematography and stuff like that, Gravity, Gravity won a lot of awards. 
And a lot of them shouldn't have been given to that movie because that movie was visually stunning. I wouldn't. It, had, it got best editing. I know that one for a fact because I was saying to myself that wasn't. It wasn't even edited that well. I seen like independent films edited better in that movie, but visually the movie was great. Dialogue was abysmal. It's like they put all their money and efforts to making this movie look awesome, but nothing on the story because the story was terrible. They could have did. They could have put more cast inside that movie and made that movie so much better. But just they wanted to focus on her, and they couldn't do much with that because she just wanted to cry the entire time. She's just a woman who shouldn't have won this face in the first place. I am going off on this movie pretty hardcore right now. I am sorry about that. All right, for any of you CBS fans out there who watches that uh, Two Girls Broke Cup, something like that, Two Broke Girls, that's what it is. Lindsay Lohan's gonna make a cameo on that show. I don't know if it's going to be just a cameo or she's going to like a full on spot in that show because she's in that title now of a broke girl. She is just hopping from movies to TV show appearances just to make some cash. I hope that she's not doing drugs anymore. That girl deserves to be happy. She put up with a lot of crap from her parents. So she should definitely strive to just be happy and just get people off her ass for a while. All right. I'll talk about something a little bit more cooler. They have this new app. It's all about, you got to pay like two bucks for this app, but you get your own private bathroom. It's an app that tells you like in a location where the nearest private bathroom that you can use to do your business. It sounds like that that joke that was on Curb, Curb Your Enthusiasm on like the Seinfeld reunion show. George had an idea for a bathroom app so you can go like use like private restrooms anywhere. Someone actually made this app. I thought it was awesome because... I like having my own privacy to a bathroom. No one likes taking like a dump when someone else is like talking or washing their hands or like, you know, using the restroom also. That's weird. I don't like doing that. Like some dudes like holding this junk while I'm using the restroom too. Like that's, and the weirdest thing is when someone talks to you, when someone's like, like, hey, how's it going, man? While like you're holding your, holding your junk. Like, oh, I don't want to talk to you while I'm doing that. This is the one time in my life I don't want to talk to somebody it's when I got like my wing dang doodle in my hand. I don't want to, that's weird. That's awkward. I don't want to do that. That's like the complete, complete opposite of what the bathroom is for. That's made for tranquility and silence. That's what the restroom is for. So they have a private app out there. So you can just go out there and, and just do it up solo style. All right, what do I got next here to talk to you guys about? They have the coolest thing in the world that I heard of in a long time. It's like a dongle that you put on your phone. So every night when you go to sleep, you put this little dongle on your phone where uh, where your headphone goes and you put this alarm app on your phone. And what this app does is, whenever it goes off, you smell bacon. I don't know about you, but when I smell bacon, I sure as hell wake up. And that's what this does. It's an, alar it's, it's an alarm that, that makes you smell bacon as soon as it goes off. That's what a dongle is. So I'm thinking they use like the same kind of technology they use for the vapors, for nicotine and stuff like that. They just put a bacon smell inside of it instead. And that's what this app does. That's freaking amazing. Just wow. I want like five of these things for my tablets. Just to put random alarms on in the middle of the day so I can just sit inside my house like, oh, gosh, yes, I need to go make some bacon. Or buy a burger that has a lot of bacon in it. Or just... Or just make a bacon sandwich, a BLT. Mm. Now I want a BLT. Crap. All right. Next up, I got some Batman news for you guys. I had this little short, this little animated short that I've seen online. It's Batman versus the Terminator. I haven't watched it yet. I need to watch it. I just haven't had the time to get around to watching this yet. But it's Batman versus the Terminator. Batman has a mustache. For some reason, he has like fully armor on his body. I suppose he would need that if you're taking on a Terminator, but it looks pretty cool. It has like weird art to it, art that I'm not kind of used to seeing in, you know, most cartoons, but I'll give it a shot to see what it's like. It may have a good story to it. It has, it has kind of like that Eon Flux kind of art to it. That's what I noticed. It's, it's very Eon Flux. So if you guys remember that old cartoon show on MTV, it has kind of like that, that, style, that style of animation to it. So again, just like I talked about before with the... Uh, the, the Escape from Jesus Island comic book. Let me know if you guys watched this before. Leave us a comments about that as well, because if it's crap, I may stay away from it for a while until like I get in, one day I'm just bored and I'll just watch it. So just let me know if it's good or if it's bad. 
And I got one more thing to talk about to you guys before I take off. And it's, uh, it's kind of sad, but it's kind of cute at the same time. And what it's about is, it's about this two-legged cat that was found. It was found, like, missing two of his front legs. And someone, like, took care of the cat, got it better. And the cat walks around like a T-Rex. It's adorable. It's, it's sad, but it's also adorable. But you see this cat walking around, like, with, with just two bottom legs, no front legs, and it just walks around just like a T-Rex. It's the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life. It's absolutely adorable. I wouldn't mind adopting that cat also if it walked around like a T-Rex the entire time. And it went to, like, a nice home. Like, people who took care of it did a better, better job than the people who had it before. So, that's, that's, that's a nice, it's a nice story to hear, you know, at the, at the end of the week. You're like all like the crap you see on CNN and MSN and stuff like that to hear about someone taking care of a of a cat lost her lost his legs. That's nice to hear. I like hearing about stuff like that. It makes you feel good inside. But this is it for my podcast. I know it's a lot shorter than my last one. I didn't think I was gonna blow through all these these topics that fast. But definitely keep listening to my channel. Listen to the other guys also. I want to thank another podcast for putting me on this here. Put me on every Friday with Can't Stop Flipping Over Fridays. It's it's awesome to do this for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you tell your friends. Check out my channel also on YouTube. It's Flipping Tables Over, all one word. I talk about comic books, some TV shows on there too. Check out the other guys on the channel here, all their podcasts as well. And like I always tell you guys, be frosty.